Whether it's priceless artifacts or legendary creatures, here are unbelievable artifacts and discoveries in Mexico. Number 12. The Creature of Metapec, Mexico This discovery was made by a Mexican farmer that was found in a trap that he had set earlier. We're not sure if a monster from out of this world was what he was looking for. The farmer said that the creature was still alive when he found it and it was extremely hostile. It was only 5 inches long and completely hairless and its eyes are the shape of almonds. After testing the DNA, it seemed to have some human or primate genetics as well as some that were unrecognizable. Although skeptics believe it's a hoax, it makes you wonder if they would actually release the info if a true alien was found. Number 11. The Dresden Codex One of the oldest books that survived the conquest of America was the Dresden Codex, which contains 78 pages, each of which are highly decorated with depictions of Mayan civilization. It's currently being held in Dresden at a museum and even received some damage during the 1940s. The book is highly detailed when it was unfolded, stretching 12 feet in length. Written by the mysterious Mayan people in the 12th or the 14th century, similar hieroglyphics can be found at the Temple of Chichen Itza in Mexico. Many European scholars say it shows how their details on the calendar works and it's related to the celestial bodies. Various lords and wealthy aristocrats have privately owned the Dresden Codex during the 18th century. There are also various displays of powerful Mayan gods such as the rain god Shock, who is seen 134 times. Since much of it has been badly damaged by water, we may never know the full true extent of its secrets. Number 10. Inside the Temple of Doom The largest and most impressive pyramid at Tenochtitlan is the Temple of the Feathered Serpent God. This is a real Temple of Doom, folks. It's believed that this pyramid was home to hundreds of thousands of human sacrifices to the serpent god known as Quetzalcoatl. More than 200 sacrificial burials were found at the pyramid, as well as necklaces made of teeth. Since many men were found with weapons, they believed that they were soldiers who went through the gruesome sacrificial process. In November of 2014, large amounts of mercury were discovered as well as jade statues, jaguar skeletons, shells, and some of the first rubber balls. The building is decorated with the serpent god along the exterior, as you can see in this photo. Number 9. Giant Olmec Heads There are many strange ancient statues all across the world, which are often open to interpretation since the sculptor never left a description. This is the case for the massive stone heads from the ancient Olmec civilization. These are some of the most debated archaeological artifacts in history. On average, the Olmec heads weigh up to 8 tons each. Many believe they used to belong to Olmec rulers. The Mesoamerican civilization dates back from 1200 to 400 BC, and they're mostly known for the mysterious statues they left behind. One question you have to ask yourself, however, why is it always the head they find and not the body? These heads are often found wearing a leather helmet, which would have been worn during battle or during ancient ballgames. The massive heads show evidence that they were commonly moved around for ritualistic purposes and represented power of their kingdom. Others believe they were buried rather quickly after they made some kind of sacrifice or an offering to their ancestors. Number 8. A Giant Head Discovery Were the Olmecs actually a civilization with large heads and this explains the reason for their statues? One of the few giant skeletons that's being held at a museum is the one that was discovered in Mexico in the 1930s. An explorer, Paxton E. Hayes, found the head of a mummified giant while exploring deep into a cave in Sonora, Mexico. What he came across was shocking. The mummy measured seven and a half feet tall and was described as being in excellent condition. The giant was believed to have been from a similar prehistoric race of Native American giants that were also reported in Nevada's Lovelock Cave and in New Mexico. It's hard to say how much of it is legend and how much of it is real. But this photo from the newspaper would lead you to believe that this whole event took place. What do you believe? Number seven, the Aztec Feather Shield. One of the most delicate artifacts left behind from 450 years ago is, of course, the Feather Shield. This was made by the Aztecs. It's being carefully stored at the Museum of Ethnology in Vienna, Austria. Made from a variety of different colors and feathers from various birds, it's truly a one-of-a-kind piece of art. Going into battle with the Feather Shield likely would not be a great idea, so it's believed that these were made for traditional and ceremonial purposes. The frame is made of pieces of gold and it was crafted with much care. Feathers from the blue Cotinga, Scarlet Macaw, Yellow Oriole, and Rose Rosati Spoonbill. Inner bark from the agave plant and sheets of rawhide are used to support the object. 
It's also stated that even the slightest vibration or even insect infestation could cause the whole artifact to crumble to pieces. So for preservation purposes, the crystal company Swarovski created a dustproof container with an anti-glare lighting system. Number 6. Tula Discoveries It seems like there were quite a few impressive civilizations in Mesoamerica, and the Tula people would later evolve into the Aztecs, giving somewhat of a prelude to their accomplishments. The Tula possessed some great architectural capabilities and constructed the Toltec Pyramid at Tula Hidalgo. Many of their ceramic artwork can be displayed in museums such as this mysterious orange ware clay vessel at the American Museum of History. If you're familiar with the famous building known as Chichen Itza, it's believed that people who built this were at war with the Tula. This led to the Tula takeover of their territory. Mysterious Toltec warrior statues still stand tall as a reminder of their military strength. They're made of basalt stone, and the feathers and the snake skin carved into it suggest allegiance to the god Quetzalcoatl. They're made of a basalt stone, and the feathers and the snake skin carved into it suggest allegiance to the god Quetzalcoatl. Number 5. Lost Ancient City A lost ancient city dating back to about 900 AD was recently discovered in February of 2014. Laser scanning seems to indicate that as many as 40,000 building formations exist here. The city has been dubbed as Engamuco, and it was built over a prehistoric lava flow. It wasn't built by the Mayans or the Aztecs, but by a lost civilization known as Perpecha. These were one of the first indigenous people in the northwestern part of Mexico. The complex city featured plazas, pyramids, reservoirs, canals, and farmland. This photo here, picked up with laser scanning, shows what it's like under the ground. It gives you an excellent overview of this ancient city that would have been pretty massive. Number 4. The Mask of the Lord of Fire It was supposed to represent the god known as Ziutekutli. He was the god of fire, the god of daytime, and the god of heat. However, it's still not clear exactly, and this is just a guess by archaeologists and historians. The eyes are made of mother of pearl, the teeth are made of conch shells, and extremely thin sheets of gold for the eyelids. The rest of it is made of turquoise. The inner part of the mask is fitted with cinnabar wood where the face would have been placed. The mask was intended to be worn and used during ceremonies to tell creation stories and recall the legends of the gods. It currently sits in the British Museum of London, where it hopefully won't get stolen. Number 3. The One-Eyed Albino Shark National Geographic featured an article of what certainly appeared to be a very strange discovery in Mexico. A one-eyed fetus of an albino shark seems to be the first of its kind, and cyclops sharks are very few and far between. The shark with a rare condition likely wouldn't have been around for very long, even if it had been born. It's lacking any form of nostrils, and the teeth were smaller than normal. This photo here shows other sharks of the same kind, and it gives you a comparison of how it's not really the color it was supposed to be. It's been confirmed to be the real deal and was found by fishermen in the Sea of Cortez. The first photos came from the Pisces Fleet Sport Fishing blog, and it almost looks like something from out of this world. Number 2. Aztec Wooden Atl Atl an atl atl or spear thrower was used by Aztec warriors who could add leverage and increase velocity to the projectile being thrown. It was a big upgrade from someone just throwing a spear normally. It typically consists of something such as a cup or a spur at the end where the spear is loaded. The spear thrower is operated with just one hand and the atl atl acts as a lever. You might see something similar to this in modern sports such as jailai where the ball speed can reach up to 188 miles an hour from this mechanism. These became the machine guns of ancient Mesoamerica warfare that were not only lethal, but also accurate. Although it just looks like a stick of wood, it's being kept at the Museo Nacional de Antropologia in Mexico City. And number 1. Kanij Janal Pakal Possibly one of the greatest discoveries in Mexico was the tomb of Pakal the Great. He was one of the longest known ruling leaders in Mesoamerica, with his reign lasting a total of 68 years. He would certainly have an elaborate burial and was laid to rest in the ancient city of Palenque. A stone slab wouldn't completely ensure his peaceful rest and archaeologists discovered his tomb in 1952. It took them four years to remove the loose stone to plug the entrances and his skeletal remains were still intact. Some are still skeptical that this is actually the infamous king and think that the teeth indicate that the person here is much younger than they expected. In any case, this burial mask and jewelry were found inside. Other objects were recently discovered underneath the Temple of Inscriptions, just recently in 2018, which show more detail of what he could have actually looked like.